Hi, I'm Kai, and welcome back to the Move Tool, or Kai's Toolbox, or the Wii Toolbox. I still haven't picked a name, but credit to Liv for the Toolbox part. I like it, and I'm stealing it. The mod has changed a little bit since I last showed it off. If I press N to open it up, you'll see there's a lot more stuff at the bottom. Now, the tool comes with three modes. First of all, Freeform Mode. That's what I showed off last time. You can pick things up, place them down, etc, etc. We also have Advanced Rotation Mode. If I press R, you'll see when I click on an item, it doesn't move anymore, but I can still rotate it around. And if I press G, that opens up Advanced Move Mode, where I can move it along the axes. Like I said, Freeform Mode is very similar to what I showed off last time. So if I click on an item, I'll pick it up, and it'll be at the height where I picked it up. I can move it up and down with B, and that's because control is being used for something else now. I can rotate it with X, Y, and Z, just like before. I can press C to place it on the ground, or I can press J to enable height lock. The way that works is, if I place an item down with height lock enabled, it'll save the height at which I placed it. And now if I pick a new item up, it'll place it at that saved height. And this persists by the way, so if I pick a new item up now, with B, that's what it is now, see that moves to the new height as well. Now height in freeform mode is ground relative. So if I pick this item up here, you'll see if I lower it down a little bit and just disable height snap, move it down here-ish, that will now stay the same height above the ground, no matter where that ground is. Now there's a few super secret buttons, because I ran out of space. First up, funnily enough, space. That sets it to the default building rotation. Holding control or shift while moving an item up and down or rotating it speeds it up or slows it down. So if I hold control, that slows down rotation, and shift speeds it up. And same when moving it up and down. So control, and shift. Next up, if I press R, we'll enter advanced rotation mode. Now if I select an item, you'll see it doesn't move anymore. Now if I hold X, I can move around the X axis, Z, etc, etc. This just helps you rotate items without moving them all over the place. Now just like before, I can hold CTRL to slow it down, or SHIFT to speed it up. And finally, if I press G, I'll enter Advanced Move Mode. Now if I select an item, and hold X, Y, or Z, it'll move it along the axis instead. Now just like with rotation, you can hold CTRL or SHIFT to slow an item down or speed it up. It's normal speed, if I hold control, and now shift. And like with freeform mode, if I press C, it'll place the item on the ground. I can also press V to undo the last few actions. So if I enter a mode and select an item, every action here is saved until I either confirm with left click, cancel with right click, or change mode. There is one more difference between freeform mode and the advanced modes, and that is that if I select the item to move it, and then right click to cancel or change modes, you'll see the item returns to where it was. And this is because in freeform mode, any item you select will move instantly, and I don't want to commit you to moving an item just because you've clicked on it. Whereas in the other mode, you have to hold a button to move an item. So as a result, it'll save any time you exit the mode in any way, unless you undo it first. This is also because you'll be switching between those two modes quite a lot. So if you rotate an item, and then you want to move it, you don't want to have to save every single time. So we can move, switch, rotate, etc, etc. As you see here, I fixed the items that didn't want to move up and down, so rocks can move up and down, as can any other decoration. So if we say, this didn't want to move up and down, there we go. If I move that up now, it'll stay. Now to do this, I had to disable ground stopping, so the ground can move above or below the rocks now, whereas in vanilla, the rocks should always stick to the ground. So there is a config option to disable this if you want. And finally, the game will remember what mode you're in. So if you exit the tool, and then enter it again, see it's in an advanced move mode. If I switch to rotation and then exit, and re-enter, whoops, re-enter, <laughs> there we go, it's in rotation. This gets reset if you reload the map, reload the game, or just exit the map in general because the manager gets reset. And now for some fun stuff I didn't get to show off last time. Say you want an invisible landing pad, so the helicopter would land on the ground and you decorate the rest yourself. Well, if you click on it, and rotate it all the way around until it's invisible and underground. 
and move it down for good measure so it's completely underground. There we go, the helicopter will land on the landing pad. We just give it some time to readjust. But the building still works. So if I attach it over... And just to prove that it works, I'll delete this one. And there we go, it still works. Guess we'll still spawn, they'll still walk in, but the building itself is invisible. And the same thing works with ranger stations. I paused it so the helicopter doesn't fly around. You can grab it, rotate it all the way around. I can just find the right axis for it. There we go, that's better. Let's just pull it up a bit so I can see where it is. Make sure it's still facing the same way. Move it all the way underground. That should, in theory, still work. If we just give the vehicles some time to adjust. I think the car is stuck on the sort of outline of the building here. Now we have to be very careful about this. See, this guy here is stuck because the building's in the way, and that dude couldn't land because the helipad was way too far underground. It's got to be right under the surface. So with that said, this, I think, could be a bit better. Yeah, there we go. And of course, you can still click on it and select it. Give your crews tasks and all that. And now, for some final shenanigans, if I select a swimmer with freeform mode, because it's easier, I can drag it above ground, so I can position it how I want. I just need to place it down first so it realizes it's stuck. There we go. So I can rotate it, make it face upwards. And now it just sort of sits there. And now if I click on it, I can place it back in water, or above water, it'll find its way back down. There we go. It's kind of weird, but, uh... You can do it. One more thing I forgot about, you can now click on junctions and move them. Not on a path itself, because they don't exist, they're just a projection between two junctions. And the same thing works on fences. So if I find a fence, click on it, I can move it around a little bit. It's also a bit picky on which side you click from and how high up. So see on the acute side, the, the acute angle, you can't really click anywhere to make it work. It does sometimes work, doesn't right now. Not high up, not in middle. Here on the side, bottom, doesn't want to work. Middle, also doesn't want to work. One second. Oh. There we go, yeah, now that works. On the other side, still doesn't really want to work. Still a bit too tight of a corner. So yeah, there's like a thin line that you can click on and it's harder depending on the angle of the fence. So the more acute the angle, the harder it is to find that line. So here it works in the middle and at the bottom, because this line here is much easier to find when the angle is quite wide. And yes, this works on expanded scenery as well, because the mod takes assets from both the game and mods and removes that ground snapping element from them. And likewise, if you have a different decoration mod, it should still work for that too, unless it's written really weird. I'd also like to add a special thanks to Ava, otherwise known as Wonders GTA Gaming. He's a Jurassic World Evolution 2 YouTuber. Without whose days upon days of testing, this wouldn't be possible. And that's about it, really. That's all there is to the mod. It should be up pretty soon. I'm just uploading it right now and writing up the description, which is the whole thing. Enjoy. It works pretty much the same way, but now holding X, Y, or Z. Holy sh- Are you okay? Are you alright? Do you need help? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna move over here. 